Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Premier, this question is for you. I am joined today by survivors of the Huronia Regional Center who are sitting in our galleries. Recently, their class action lawsuit was settled by your government. The most important part of the settlement was that they would finally receive an apology for the abuse and horrible neglect related to government action and inaction. Will the Premier commit today that the official apology will come from her personally and not from a minister? So, Mr. Speaker, um, the the uh, court is still determining, as I understand it, and I know the, minister, the uh, Attorney General is going to want to comment on that, but the court is still determining the nature of an appropriate apology, and so I, we, need to, uh, we need to hear um, from that process. Um, and I know, as I say, the, the Attorney General is going to want to comment on that. I just want to acknowledge the people who are in the gallery today. I particularly want to acknowledge Marilyn Dolmage, and I don't know if people in this House know Marilyn well. I've worked with Marilyn for years and there is I think there's probably not anyone in this province who has done more for people with disabilities children with special needs in the school system to push governments of all stripes to do the right thing by uh, by young people and by people people with disabilities Answer. so I want to acknowledge and honor her and to thank her for that work over the years Stop the clock, Thank you. Supplementary. Uh, I'm sure we all thank the Premier for acknowledging Marilyn Dolmage, and uh, quite frankly, what Marilyn would like is you to commit to give an apology. That's what Marilyn would like. You know, uh, uh, Premier, the survivors don't want to be seen as clients of Ministry of Community, Community and Social Services, and they also don't want to be seen just as part of a legal action against the Attorney General. What they do want, what they do require, is to be seen as full citizens of the province of Ontario, which is what they would be if you, Premier, gave them an apology. I ask again, will the Premier commit today that the official Question. apology will come from her? Attorney General. Attorney General. Well, thank you very much, uh, Speaker. And first of all, they are full citizens of this province. Always have been, always should have been. And that, that's number one. And secondly, I don't think any government in the past can be proud of the work that happened at Veronia since the late 1870s and 1880s. Uh, speaker, as the Premier has already indicated, the matter is before a judge right now. I understand that there will be a hearing on December the 3rd to fully lay out the entire aspect with respect to the settlement on an individual basis, on a collective basis. Right now, notices have gone out to about 4,500 individuals that may have a claim with respect to their uh, residence at Heronia. Uh, I might also add, Speaker, and this may be no comfort to the residents at all, but the class action was settled in a very fast manner, less than three years, which is, which is unusual for a class action. Yes, what happened at Euronia is simply unac unacceptable, and that's why this government felt it was uh, important for everyone to Thank settle you. this action as quickly and as soon as... Thank you. 